Good morning, Saturday the 3rd of December. I feel like the hobbits haven't returned home, but that brings a good question, what is home? So I was at home and I'm back home. So where is home, hey? Feels like it's been quite a lot this week. What's a lot? So what comes to mind first is I was having a conversation yesterday in the cafe at the train station, which I use regularly and have done for a number of years. So I know the guy who I call Bill, that's not his name, but I call him Bill, in the cafe. And we have a lot of discussions about faith and religion. And he's a Muslim, so that often comes into it. So we're having some discussion about um, what came first, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. And I guess I said historically, well, first of all, Judaism came out of the tribe of Judah. So what was first was the people of Israel, I guess, in terms of those three religions anyway. There are older. And Judaism came out of the people of Israel, one of the 12 tribes. So historically that's the case, but I then said, well, but of course, Adam, Abraham, and the rest um, weren't um, Jewish or Muslim or Christian. They were just, they were just people. Um, and then I remembered what a, a friend of mine, um, who's an Iman, had said about, Muslim meaning one who submits to God, which I think if you look it up as I have does means one who submits to the Lord or one who submits to God, submits to God. Of course, it's from the Arabic, I believe, although I realize that you say one thing and you learn because you'll find out there's a few other explanations. Anyway, I believe it come from the Arabic and I'm also interested whether it's actually pronounced Muslim um, in Arabic. Uh, anyway, uh, in Arabic it means that. I'm also interested in when was the word first used. So my own quick research suggests it was mentioned in the Quran. And it was mentioned in relation to Jesus, who in Islam is referred to as Isa. And it's, it's referenced to him making a comment to his disciples about... Um, being Muslims again this would be in Arabic originally so I kind of go with that thought that Ahmed had said to me about uh, Muslim simply means one who submits to God so we kind of got into this conversation and I said um, yeah so I'm a Muslim I submit to God I kind of do this a bit with Jehovah Witnesses as well, where I say, well, I'm a witness of Jehovah. I'm not a Jehovah Witness by the terminology, but I'm a witness of Jehovah. Anyway, if you know me, you know I like to play on things. So, I said, well, I'm a Muslim because I submit to God. And into the shop came this other guy who heard this, the, the end of the conversation. And he was saying, no, you're not. Okay, so no, I'm not. Okay, hi, I'm not. Um... Now this turns out this guy assumes I'm a Christian, um, to which I said, I think you're making assumptions that I'm a Christian. I hadn't said anything particularly, but he was focused on the fact that Christians believe that Jesus is the son of God and God can't have any sons and Allah. There seems to be some profanity against saying that Allah could have a son, which I don't quite understand. Because in one sense, we're all sons and daughters of God in that we're created. Um, but I'm sure someone will tell me what I'm missing. And I'm sure I'm missing something. And that's a bit about why we talk. Anyway, this guy was very clear that I couldn't call myself a Muslim. To which I said, well, actually, the term is only a word. It's only a word. And he said, no, it's not a word. That's like saying a cat's a dog and a dog's a cat. To which I said, well, hold on a minute. A cat's a cat and a dog's a dog. It's not a cat because of a word. And it's not a dog because of a word. It's a dog because it's a dog. We give it a word. So I said, so, it's not even if what you call yourself. If you call yourself a Muslim, what does that mean? It's how you live your life. 
the sky was very clear that there was meaning in the word and he probably has a point there's meaning in words but what's more important is how a life is lived and I've probably taken much longer than I ever thought in that conversation so anybody who knows a bit about Islam knows a bit about Arabic knows about the origin of the term Muslim how it's pronounced in our in Arabic um, when it was first used uh, what it means and whether it can be applied to anyone as a term just like you are human if you submit your life to God can you be called a Muslim so there we go